Welcome, 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 welcome. I want to welcome you back to the Build Your Empire with the Kingdom Strategists for a time of building and expanding the kingdom of God within you on the Kingdom Influencers broadcast. We are educating and equipping individuals around the world to build and expand in their dreams, goals, visions, purpose, and destiny through biblical principles and applications. I am your host, Deron Shea Zorn, your kingdom strategist here to release strategies and revelations to unlock the kingdom within you. Oh, we have a dynamic episode planned for you on tonight. We do have a very, very special guest, and I'm going to introduce her in a moment in this episode of the build your in your with the kingdom strategist we have none other with us than tequila consar and she is a retired registered dental hygienist and has a master in health service administration for over 12 years she has been an online marketer social network marketing professional, and business empowerment coach. She teaches client attraction to work at home moms and rising network marketing professionals who want to be successful in their business. She also helps women to increase their confidence in their business by practicing mindset transitions with the use of meditation and visualization techniques. She helps you uncover past issues or thoughts that keep you stuck and broken, replacing them with new thought patterns that will allow you to create your desired life. She is also an author of She Conquered. She is in the health and wellness niche in which she promotes an online retail brand that teaches people how to live clean. She has been married to her husband for 14 years and have two beautiful children. I want to introduce to the Build Your Empire family none other than Miss Tequila Consor. Welcome, woman of God. We thank you for being with us on tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, it, it is such a, a very powerful introduction um, as well. And so, but you guys, before we get ready to just dive into this broadcast, because I mean, she, we got to, we got to interview our business owner on tonight, and then she's going to just give you guys some power pack um, strategies and tips on how you can be successful in your business. But let us go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, gracious Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to be before your people. And we thank you, oh God, that you would use this broadcast on tonight to empower, to encourage, to educate, to equip, and employ your people in the very things in which you have declared for their lives. We thank you for every every listener, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that this will be a table, oh God, that is nourishing to their souls, to their minds, and that it will penetrate, oh God, the very core of their beings and empower them, oh God, to begin to run the race that you have so diligently laid out before them. We thank you a word of activation and transformation being sent through the airways, oh God, for your people around the world throughout the nation so that they may move in purpose and fulfill their destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen to God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, listeners on tonight, I want you to go ahead and do 
us a very special favor. Go ahead and share this broadcast on your social media platforms so that others that you know can get in on this dynamic conversation, this very, very powerful conversation that we're getting ready to have on tonight so that those that you know that they can also build their empire as well so that they can build their empire as well so that you know we don't want you to be selfish on the information that you're getting ready to acquire on tonight share it in your social media groups um, as well, you can email it um, to someone in addition. If you like, you can text the information to someone as well. But just get it out by any means necessary because we're here on tonight, as always, help individuals build and expand the kingdom of God within you. In addition, we will have the lines open on tonight for those who would like a desire to call in and have questions during our Q&A session that will be a little bit later on um, in the broadcast and that number is 515-739-1297 and your access code would be 279-335 that would be your access code and so we'll open up the lines later on tonight um, for a Q&A session so let us go ahead and get started um, right now. We're going to just dive directly into our interview. So, Ms. Tequila, can you go ahead and tell our audience on tonight, you know, uh, just a little bit about your, the name of your business, you know, how long have it been established in addition um, to uh, what's your mission? Absolutely. Um, thank you. And thank you all for joining us today. I really segmenting the time out of your day to, you know, truly invest in yourself. You know, it's not you coming to listen to someone, but it's investing in yourself. You're learning something, learning more about someone, you know, to get to the next level in your business. So I thank you, and I thank you for the opportunity as well. Um, but I have been in the entrepreneur sector for 13 years now. Um, I started when I actually was in college, um, and it gave me money to get through college, not only help get through college or get the things I needed for college, um, but I also did it once I got into my career. Um, because I just love that. I don't know. It's like you have that side. You know, it's, I, I don't want to call it, a, it. It wasn't a hustle, but it was just that thing that you get on the side um, to have that additional money for vacation and all of those good things that you want to do or extra shopping money. So. Um, I've always loved, you know, the thrill of those things or having the addition or extra to save. And, you know, it's built itself. Um, married my husband and he and I were in the same mindset of, you know, just building this, having a business to build, um, something to leave for our children. Um, and, you know, we've been going there since. So, you know, our mission um, is, is, to find people um, that are like mind or high achievers um, who are looking to truly live um, above and beyond what, you know, they want. You know, most people have goals. You know, we know it's at, at still the beginning of a new year. And so many people have these goals that they set for themselves. But, you know, most people don't set them, you know, with the intention of truly achieving them. They just do it because that's what everyone is doing. But, um, when you get with people and you, you you have that goal that you know that you want to hit and you focus on intentionally hitting it, it's totally different. I mean, and it comes with a different mindset, a different um, way of thinking, too. Um, and it's funny because this month is uh, uh, was self-care for me, you know. So I absolutely removed myself from social media. Um, all my social media is just to focus on intentionally on my family, on my goals, and um, starting to achieve those things that I wanted, you know, to set the tone or set the pace for 2018. And it's been such a rewarding month, um, but I've learned so much about myself <laughs> in this month. And, you know, so that's what I love to do, you know, um, in the business that I do, you know, with my coaching especially, you know, it, it, it helps to attract high achieving women, talk to those people who are already doing well. They just want to move, you know, a, a, a step ahead 
um, in life, and they want to do it intentionally. And so I teach people um, how to do that and how to make the shift and how um, it benefits their life going forward. So, uh, sorry, my um, business. So I've been doing it for 13 years, (laughs) full-time um, in 2011, and that was after the birth of my daughter, my husband and I decided, you know, that I would be um, a full-time mom. And, you know, so I do the businesses on the side of being a full-time mom who's homeschooled. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm managing it quite well. You know, I have to take a lot of things off of my list, um, definitely in order to focus on, you know, the primary business and my daughter. So, but it's been very rewarding, <laughs> very rewarding. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, what the primary business? What is the primary business? It's funny because we we're we consider ourselves serial entrepreneurs. Um, my husband has a janitorial business. Um, I do my coaching business, um, but our primary, my primary business, um, truly is you know the health and wellness. Um, business that I I do run Um, I've been going at it for about six years now um, and I truly love it I mean and it's it's transformation um, at its finest when you can absolutely help people to um, educate them about health and get them to where they they are comfortable you know within their self and in their health goals so it's it's fun mixing that along with the coaching um, that I do with people that um, decide they hey I want to want to try this product that you're using or try you know or look at what you're doing um, the coaching goes right along with that but it's all it's all those different uh, my different niches that I've um, adopted you know that I see as a a bundle um, that keeps us keeps me home full time. But my primary, you know, is my coaching. I just love doing it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I do. Awesome. It's natural. <laughs> it's, you know, it's nothing like having, you know, a coach, individuals having co- a coach to coach them mm-hmm. and walk them through, you know, that in which, you know, they may be afraid to do or they just don't know how to do and just need those instructions um, and and to, to just get to where it is that they desire mm-hmm. to go. They desire to go. And mm-hmm. you guys, you know, I love her because you guys know I'm always talking about multiple streams of income and we got to get on multiple platforms and in order to build those <laughs> multiple streams of income. And so we are talking, and as I'm hearing her speak, she's on multiple platforms, right, getting those multiple streams of income to make it happen for our life. And, look, we're called to be lenders to many nations and not borrow from none. Mm-hmm. And so we got to get on those platforms. And, you know, we, we always dealing with the streams the income so y'all know i love it i love it i love it so this <laughs> is um so let me t- let us talk for a moment about your coaching um business you know how did you come up with the idea or the concept for that business what birth that whole thought to begin to coach uh digging through my past uh digging through figuring out what i was really really good at and what i really loved you know i'm doing and the things that, you know, only I can do or only I can offer. So many people may, other people may offer the same thing. But, you know, we all have our own gifts that we were born with, you know, and, and finding and combing through your past and figuring out, oh, my gosh, I was really good at this thing. And so once I, you know, start talking to more people, you know, we in the beginning, we start giving them, you know, free things we give it to our friends our family we start talking to people and you keep hearing people say you're really good at this you're really natural at that you know your your mind and your heart starts to tune in to you know that gift that God gave you and it's not it's okay to monetize that gift that he you know that you were given um as long as you do it in an act of serving people so um through the years, and you know, I finally, my friend said, you know, Tequila, you gotta, you gotta do something with um, your your coaching. You know, she said because I can come to you with about anything. You know, either it's an ideal I have or it's a problem I have, and you solve it so eloquently, and it comes easy. 
So that's when I decided, you know, a couple of years ago to start really focusing on um, getting a coach to coach me, you know, um, help me um, with, you know, formulating what I was really, really good at and how to put it all together. So that's how it all came about. It, it was through friends and family um, that constantly pushed me and told me, this is something you're naturally good at. You know, why aren't you you getting paid for it? So um, that's when I decided, you know, to turn that hobby, so to speak, into a true business. Awesome. You know, she said quite a few things um, that she talked about. She, she said, look, I went and got me a coach. So coaches need coaches, just like spiritual midwives need, you know, midwives to help birth and push them as well. We all need somebody. Mm -hmm. We are independently intertwined to help one another build and develop the empire that God has called forth in our life. So it's okay to obtain a coach to get where it is that you desire to grow and go where you desire to grow um and go and then she said it was her friends you know that 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 helped her and family helped her to um realize what she was really good at and it's something else she said monetize your gift <laughs> monetize <laughs> your gift you know he's given it to us if we remember it you know in the word he's given us those talents so that we can go and multiply them so we got to use it cultivate it use it and multiply it and so he give he give us these things so that we can generate you know um the wealth that we need um in addition to use it as a service unto others so definitely 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 you know monetize the gift monetize the talent monetize that in which God has given unto you. So my next question is going um, to be this. Okay, so once you, you know, they begin to push you and everything of that nature, how did you begin to advertise your business? Oh, my goodness. I just start putting out content. You know, I start putting myself out there in content, and I love videos. Um, so anybody who follows me on Facebook, know that I am like a video person. I love videos. I love going out there um, and educating people um, about their issues. You know, a lot of people think that they should hold that information, but I go and I deliver. I deliver to people because there are so many people out here um, who are lost, you know, who are broken, who are lost in what direction they need to go with their business or, or in their life, you know, and who are broken um, because maybe they're burned out on, in their business or burned out with a business, burned out with something in their life, and they're just really seeking that guidance in that direction. So it could be you, you know, you going there and you put out that video or even that blog post um, that can truly help you attract the person that you, um, that's totally aligned with what, who you are and who you are becoming. And that's how I did it. I just went out there and I start running my mouth <laughs> by doing videos and trying to find a way to collaborate with different people where I can insert my personal um, power or, you know, that personal superpower that I have um, with other platforms or share it with their audience. So it's all about, you know, linking up, making sure that you collaborate, but also go out here and deliver that message. Don't be afraid because so many people are, are afraid to do, you know, a video, um, show up um, as yourself and people will start to like you, you know, even love you. And that's when they will start saying, what is it that you do? You know, how can, can you help me? So that's, that's what I got, you know, people saying, well, what is it that you do? I mean, it's so funny because most of my content is so not planned. My husband's like, you should stop putting bullet points so you won't, you know, go off of the subject. I'm like, it's hard for me to do that because it's something I'm naturally good at. So just turning on, you know, the phone or turning on, you know, my laptop or opening up to Facebook Live and going, um, it, it's so natural, you know, because I do it all the time. So, but it's always fair to plan content, I guess. <laughs> but yes, content is <laughs> <It's> king. <laughs> Content is key. I like it. You just just begin 
to go just go for it and you know so mm-hmm. for that individual who because you know starting is usually the heart the most difficult thing is to make the first step what would be your advice to that person that you know I'm ready to start but you know they're in that in between of making that first step because it's usually the heart the hardest and once you get going then you know it's 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 you just keep going but what is, what would you say to mm-hmm. somebody that's just right at that point where they're ready to go but they haven't quite they they just got one one more step in their life mm-hmm. you know the biggest shift i noticed that you know when i hired a coach like it's tremendous because it's a it, it's a person who helps you um with the shortcut or they get you to the destination you want to get quicker You know, they give you great insight that you may have not known about. um, And they give you strategies that will help keep you moving forward, you know, instead of moving backwards. Um, Because some people feel as if, you know, if they took the first step, will they move backwards? Or is this going to get me to where I need to get? It's almost like a a game of chess. You know, it's like, am I making the right move? Um, But, you know, the right move, first and foremost, I believe it's always to seek advice um, from someone who has been there, done that. You know, even, you can even find answers in books, you know, that you may read, you know, just make sure you're reading the right books that will help you with direction. But um, getting started, most people, they suck in their head, you know, and that's not good because, you know, our information lies, there's so much information that lies dormant inside of people's heads that they, they just won't ever get out. And then, they feel, oh, my gosh, somebody stole my idea. Well, we got to remember, you know, that people are always thinking. <laughs> so it's all, always about, um, you know, finding a person that can help you get there quicker. Definitely. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's absolutely um, great. So I, I want to ask you um, if you could, what type, do you have a Pacific products and services that you offer with your coaching program? Um, yes, yes. I actually, um, working with me, um, I think that she will have fun, you know, because I'm, I'm a kind of a witty person. I'm so myself, I'm authentic. Um, but some people find it challenging. Why? Because I don't hold back. I've always been such an honest, direct person, but I do it in love. But, you know, the listening is the part when you actually listen to what I say and, you know, do, it works. So, you know, but um, I have my coaching that I do. I have a course. I have a couple courses um, that I have. One is the ultimate shift. Um, That is where you can absolutely, um, it's where I take you through shifting your mindset, you know, to start manifesting those things that you want in your life. Um, to so many people and kind of getting clear on what you want in life. Cause so many people are everywhere, you know, with their goals and what they want, um, that, you know, God don't know what to give you because you're confusing, you know, in giving. So it, it's almost, it's always about getting clear on what you want and figuring out how to manifest those things. And, um, I also have a course, um, that I recently released, you know, last year it was called girl by. I know it's a catchy title, but it basically is teaching you how to sell your products, your services to women. Um, Women consumers are huge. I mean, women love shopping. I know I like shopping. You know, that was one of the reasons why, you know, I started network marketing um, in the network marketing industry because I love shopping. And that thing that I was getting, I wanted to get it either free or at a discount. Um, So (laughs) I teach people how to, um, truly identify their ideal client, um, a female client that will be attracted to their products or services. And then I have my book, you know, She's Conquered. Um, that was a collaboration with me and 14 other women where we told our stories of how, you know, we've overcome adversity. We faced our fears and we conquered entrepreneurship. A very powerful book um, with so many women um, telling their story. Maybe they were divorced. They had financial hardship. They lacked support from a loved one. Um, one girl was actually at prison. She was in prison. Um, but still, everyone rise above their, um, their, that thing that 
thought it was going to hold them back, but they rise. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, so your, the clients that you serve, what is your mm-hmm. parameter or what is your um your your base? Are you local, statewide, mm-hmm. international? What is your uh, market base? Hmm. Um, I'm everywhere kind of I'm local I'm here I'm the nation United States I mean I have a client in UK um, that I service but you know my clients are high achieving women I love to see a woman who already is doing well in life um, and it's funny because I'm a dental hygienist still I've I kept my license and I'm part of an association where there's these women you know they're high achieving but they're, they've hit this mid-age stage where they've been practicing for so long. Now they're finding or trying to figure out what is it that I want to do next, you know, and how can I use what I know to shift in a new direction um, or in the same direction, but a different avenue, so to speak. So, you know, helping women in that aspect, you know, when especially when they're at the that career direction where I don't want to maybe do my career anymore. I want to kind of dive in business. I help people um, truly figure out their, their personal brand. What will they bring to the table, who they are and take what they already know um, and show them these are the options you have. And this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to market it. These are the platforms you need all the way down to, you know, the niche, the market, uh, target market, all of those good things. So, and I love doing it. It, It's something that, it's so funny (laughs) because I'm a person who's very aware of, um, you know, what I love and what I don't love. So, you know, talking to you right now, I'm so excited, you know, about, about just making people more aware, you know, especially in this, this second half of teaching of, um, of how they